brief flat, seagrass bed, surf zone, pass, muddy or sandy bottoms. Sea cucumbers live at very different depths and habitats. Some live buried in the sand all day, only coming out at night. When they are disturbed, certain species release white threads called cuvirian tubules to defend themselves. They reproduce by releasing their gametes into the water column. There needs to be a lot of sea cucumbers in the same area for reproduction to succeed. Many species are able to reproduce after two years. Their lifespans can range from five to 15 years or more. Sea cucumbers are mainly detritivores, which means they feed on organic matter, bacteria and seaweed. By digging into the sand or mud, they clean and turn over the sediment, so help ensure the recycling and oxygenation of the seabed. You might think them unappetizing because of their slimy bodies. While sea cucumbers are rarely eaten in the South Pacific, they are considered a delicacy in Asia, which is then the main export market. Once they are dried, they can be stored for a long time. The dried product is called beach dimmer. Several sea cucumber species are now internationally protected. This is especially the case with two so-called teat fish species. They are on the list of species protected by the CITES Treaty and their export may be banned if stocks are not managed sustainably. That is to say, if fishing intensity leads to a steady decline in sea cucumber populations. These new rules require exporting countries to set up monitoring and control mechanisms. But you need to know how to recognize the different sea cucumber species on the market. Find out more information on the Pacific Community website, especially the Sea Cucumber Identification Cards. <music>